Right, hi there YouTube and thanks very much for joining me again. In this video, and that will be coming up after the intro, we are going to be unboxing this guy, which happens to be, I do believe, it is a new server. Just going to move over onto the computer for a second, because, yeah, it's the HP Proleum Micro Server 8th Gen with 16 gig of RAM. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut to the intro, we're going to unbox this, and we're going to see what we got. And that's coming up on today's show. Be strong. Be strong. Okay, so this was delivered to me just about 20 minutes ago by 48 hour um, shipping from Royal Mail. So let's open this and see what we've got. Now, I can't find my Stanley knife at the moment. And nor can I find, uh, well, I can't be bothered, sorry, to actually um, go into my service kit to pull out scissors. But hopefully I should still be able to get into this. So we'll give it a go. We'll have a look and we'll see what we got. It's pretty well packaged. Let's just find the other end of that. Yeah. Absolutely butchering this packaging. Now hopefully I don't knock the server on the floor or kick the tripod over. Now. Let's get rid of the box because we don't need that. Second hand unit, this one, so it's not brand new, and I paid £120 for it with £10 shipping, which is pretty reasonable, I think. Now it did say on the listing that it's a little bit dusty inside, but there we have it. That's the unit. And I think what we can do is have a closer look at this. So just bear with me. So here we have it. This is our server. And by the looks of that, it's all complete. It's just a little bit dusty. But, indeed, all of the frames are there. 
were the chassis for the hard drives. So that's that's good. I'm not sure how that goes back in. Not actually sure how this clips back in. Bear with me. That should I'm just poking around with this at the moment. It is incredibly dusty, as I said, but that's not a problem. We will actually tidy this up. Give me a moment while I actually try and get that reseated. Ah, oh, that's it. I figured it out. So all we do is we lift up this catch and then plug it back in and it locks down. And that is the same for the other one. Okay, so that's the front of that. And yeah, there's meant to be a service tool there that's missing. Um, as you said, this is kind of a little bit dusty and filthy. But it is something that we can deal with. There's two USB ports on the front, followed by what looks like a optical disc tray. And then there's some sort of um, LED affair on the right hand side here. Then if we turn the unit over to the back, what we have, by the looks of this, we have our power connector, then there's a thumb screw here, which I'm assuming can give us access to the inside of the unit. There's another one the other side. And then, of course, we've got two Ethernet ports here. Let's just move that up so we can see that. Two Ethernet ports, four USBs and a VGA monitor. Now, I don't actually own a VGA monitor. All of mine is HDMI. So unfortunately, I'm going to be out of luck on this one testing it until tomorrow when I've actually got VGA to HDMI converter coming. And then, of course, the last thing here is a PCI Express times 16 slot. Now, I'm assuming you could probably fit some sort of graphics card in there or some other PCI Express affair or possibly even a wireless modem or wireless network card, should we say. So let's see if we can actually get into this unit by undoing the two thumb screws. And I have actually no idea how this thing is meant to come apart. So this one is new to me. So let's start by undoing the thumb screw. Like so. Now, how do we get into this? Because the eBay listing showed the inside of this as well. Ah, that's it. So it's just like any normal PC tower, I'm assuming. It just slides and then should lift off. Now, by the looks of this, yes, it is quite filthy inside, so we all need to deal with that. It's got the necessary power supply in it. But at the top here, it looks like it's missing... Um, yeah, a hard drive here because there's cabling for that. So that looks like cabling for a, another hard disk drive. And it looks like it's also missing the caddy for that as well. That's possibly the case. Although, as I said, I don't really know much about this. 
So what we'll do is we will just put the lid back on and I think we will proceed then to close out. But that's just a quick little look inside the HP Proleon Micro Server Gen 8. I should get that back on. I mean I'm only going to have to gain access to the inside of this again anyway to clean it out. That's got that reseated. And then the thumb screws just obviously tighten up like so. Now, just before we do go to close out, this is going to be going inside my server rack because I have a need for this. And the server rack is indeed just that. So the laptop will be coming out and the server will be going in. So oh, there we are YouTube. That brings us to the end of another video. And that was the HP Proleon Micro Server Gen 8 unboxing and a quick overview. Now, as I said, I don't really know anything about this particular maker model of unit. So it's going to be pretty much a case of finding this out either as I go or having a look on the internet for service manuals and the such like. Now, it is a pretty filthy unit. It does have quite a lot of dust in there, as you see by the, the fan. It's quite dusty, so it will require a full clean out. But anyway, that brings us to the end of the video, and I thank you as always for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.